Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stop WordPress comment spam on your images. Now, if that doesn't make sense, I'm gonna show you what I mean by that uh, right now. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So here's my WordPress website at tonyflorida.com. I'm gonna to go to the WordPress admin dashboard. And under my comment section, I noticed something really bizarre um, a few weeks ago. I got a comment, this comment right here, on one of my images, okay? So who knew that you can comment on images in WordPress, uh, but apparently you can. And if we click on this, we will just see that it is, uh, well, this is the attachment page that I can see behind the scenes. But if we click on the actual uh, uh, resource that the spammer commented on, this is what it is. It's just the image, as you can see up here in the URL. It's just a PNG image, but the spammer was able to comment on that. So I did some research some reverse engineering to figure out how they did this and that's what I'm going to show you in this video how they did it not only that but how they did it and how you can prevent this from happening to you how you can stop spammers from posting spam comments on your images because it's just really annoying and um, unnecessary so um, let's go back here and what I'm going to do is show you how this is done so I'm going to open up a terminal window on my Mac here make this a little bit bigger so you can see it and basically what I believe the spammer did was executed something like this. So um, this is calling a command called curl, okay? And if you're not familiar, curl is just a command that's built into Unix operating systems that makes a request to a web page, okay? And the specific page that we're requesting is this, which is uh, WordPress, WordPress's way to comment on something. So by default, it seems like WordPress allows you to comment on blog posts and media attachments, including images. So as long as you know the ID of that image, like some unique identifier for that image, then you're able to post a comment to it. So uh, by default, I can't find um, anywhere on the, the, the media attachment page where that information would be public. So I'm just guessing that the spammer guessed what that unique identifier was. Anyway, if that doesn't make sense, let me just finish explaining this command here. So everything between this quote here and this quote here is typically what you would fill out if you're making a comment. So like you have your author is Tony in this case, your email is Tony at Tony Teaches Tech. The URL of the thing that you wanna comment on is that PNG image that I was talking about that I just showed you guys. And then the actual comment in this case, the comment that I'm going to comment on my own image is going to say gotcha. And then this is that unique ID that I was talking about. The unique ID in my WordPress database for this image is 134. So I'm, like I said, I'm just guessing they, they guess that that was the case. And you can do that really easily with the script. So let's go ahead and execute this to make a comment on my image on my website. And if everything goes according to plan, that will go ahead and execute. And because we don't see any uh, information back out, I think it was successful. So let's just move this down here back in my WordPress admin dashboard. We'll refresh the comment section. And you'll see now that um, that that comment was successful. It does say, whoops, it does say that uh, Tony Teachers Tech has made that comment gotcha on that same image. Now, like I said, that's really annoying. Um, how do we prevent that from happening? Well, you can prevent that from happening in your appearance in editing your theme. So there's a, a, a file in here called functions.php and I highly recommend that you um, edit your child themes functions.php and if you don't have a child theme, um, just search your theme followed by child theme. So for me, I'm using generate press and then I search generate press child theme and it's just a simple small install um, I have some resources on here if you wanna learn how to do that. But anyway, assuming that you're at that point, there is just a few lines of code that we need to put into our child theme here. And what this is basically doing is saying that unless, if, if the post is an attachment, if it's not like a blog post, um, then you're not gonna allow, meaning return false, you're not gonna allow anybody to comment on that. And if we save these changes, and we try to go back here, we'll go to the comments section, we'll, we'll pull back up the um, the command again, if we try to execute the command again, and we'll do something slightly different just so we can distinguish. So instead of saying gotcha, I will say, um, hello, okay? So we'll execute that, 
and what it gets, what it, what it sends back to us. So remember, before we didn't see any output after it successfully made a post. What it sends back to us is a an HTML page. Whoops. Oh boy. Okay. Bear with me for a second. Okay. What it sends back to us is an HTML page, which starts here and then goes all the way down here. But the main thing that we want to look at is the uh, the response. And you'll see that just in a second when I get down here. Here we go. So um, right here, sorry, comments are closed for this item. That's because of that code that we just in inserted into our functions.php file. So um, hopefully that makes sense. It is, it. I find it unnecessary for comments, attachments even to have comments to begin with. So by um, by turning off this feature, if you're not use, using it for whatever reason, then it's something good that I see for most people. So go ahead and follow these instructions. I'll have a, a blog post link down below if you want to copy and paste this code instead of typing it off the screen. Um, so check that out. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I have some other WordPress security spam related videos over here. So check those out as well. Please subscribe for this. Please subscribe to me like this for more videos in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.